seen with his uncle, Vice Admiral Gordon Campbell, a VC of the last war. These pictures, taken during the German occupation of Antwerp and at the time of its liberation by the British, have been enlarged from film exposed by a member of the Belgian underground army. Undetected by the Hun, he used his camera to make a brief but historic record of the Germans on their way out. The British Second Army was driving them out and the people of Antwerp knew it, but of course they were unable to express their feelings fully as yet. Even before the British arrived, however, men of the White Brigade, the Belgian equivalent of the FFI, tore down German street signs in the hope of confusing Bosch drivers and so adding, perhaps, to the bag of prisoners. And they began to, to sack the homes of certain notorious collaborators who'd been making a good thing out of their groveling subservience to the Hun throughout all the long years of occupation. When the first British units drove into Antwerp, the scene changed to one of unlimited rejoicing. Everybody was determined to celebrate somehow and to express gratitude to the British fighting men who'd made that possible. It was Brussels all over again, though on a smaller scale. Here and there, Bosch prisoners were being rounded up, but Antwerp didn't allow that to interfere with its celebration. On the contrary, it was all part of the show, of course. Since these pictures of the freeing of Antwerp were taken, celebrations here and throughout Free Belgium have rapidly given way to the hard work needed for reconstruction and for the total victory of the Allied cause. <laughs> 